So we just got here to the Panther Junction Visitor Center. Um, we're here picking up our permits and our uh, parking permit. Um, we're heading out to the Mariscal Canyon Rim Trail. Um, got about a two hour drive from here down River Road East. Um, on the way, we're gonna be stopping at Mariscal Mine. But yeah, I'll update you on the way. So we'll see you there. We drove here to the Rio Grande Village Visitor Center and we're leaving my truck here for the night. I just checked in with the park rangers. They gave me a permit, uh, just something I can put on my dash to show when we'll be back. It didn't cost anything, but they also hooked me up with some topo maps for Mariscal Canyon. We are about to hit the road. We're gonna leave Rio Grande Village, go back up north and hit River Road East, and then I'll kind of shoot some stuff along the way. So we'll see ya. All right, so we're coming down on River Road East. Uh, we have finally made it to the junction of Glen Springs that turns north and River Road West. And we we're about to take a left and continue on towards Mariscal Mine. But uh, yeah, check out the scenery. It's beautiful right now. more toys than we do. Elena on the phone. Oh yeah. And uh... Ooh. That's some sharp rocks. It's the ones you want to hit dead on. Perfect. Tip over a thousand. Okay, so we're on River Road West. We're just meeting up with the Solis campsite. We're about to head back north and go up towards Mariscal Mine. The Solis camp is down that, that way, close to the river. We're coming up on Mariscal Mine, right there to the left. We should have Fresno up on our right hand side here pretty quick.
back on the road, heading to Tally Campground. Uh, honestly, we're gonna take our time because it is hot. We uh, got on the dirt around 10:30. It's one o'clock right now, so we've gotten two thirds of the way. Now we have, I don't know, probably 30 more minutes to get to Mariscal Canyon, the trailhead at Tally Camp. So. Survey says that that's a lie. It's off by about 15 or 20 degrees at least. It feels like it's close to 90 outside. I don't know how it could be 65 degrees. So we may be taking our time, letting that sun go down a little bit before we get going. All right, so now we're at the Black Gap Trail, meeting up with the River Road West. Black Gap. Now we're heading toward Tally Campground, so we're gonna go straight. Black Gap Trail is just for like the major off-roading, so if you got a Jeep or something like that and you're ready to do some more extreme off-roading than what we've done today, Black Gap's the, the way you wanna go. Okay, so here's the split. This is River Road West. This is the cutoff. You can take a left towards the Tally Campsites, right that way. Tally ho! Showdown. Gonna make some room. I think he's got it. Slightly stuck, not bad. Woo, there we go. We're getting closer. You can see a vehicle up here parked, so we're getting close to the trailhead. So we are at the uh, most secluded hike in Big Bend. We uh, left at 10.30, good three and a half hours, but we've been taking our time. Yeah, we hiked around for 45 minutes. So I mean, just over maybe two and a half hours of driving. So it's really not that bad. All right, so we've passed tally one. Looks like this is gonna be tally two. Okay, yeah, this is it. So park here, leave no valuables. Dude, this is just dry. Yay, everything's good. So this is what we were concerned with. See that big tear in the tire? Kevlar saved us. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for Kevlar. We're gonna have some good tires coming out here. Yeah, I was planning on taking my truck with regular tires out here. After doing this trail, doing this drive out here, there's no way I'd bring my truck out here. You need something a little more significant. We saw some vehicles coming through here. And I was like, hey, if they're doing it, you know, it'd be fine bringing my truck. Now, one slip on a sharp rock and you're kind of done. Um, so, you need something significant to come out here. It's the most isolated section of Big Bend. Uh, it's in the very southern section of the park. And, yeah, it's isolated. But, worth it. So, we're going to throw our packs up and get moving on the road. So we're 
heading off to the hot springs now. That's where we're heading out. Come on, tired, you can do it. So, you can see the very top part of Mariscal Mine. So now we're coming back up to Mariscal Mine. Hopefully these aren't too deep. That's our bad tire. Right back there, we're trying not to pop. Got a big old gash in it right now, but it's holding up. Heading to the Rio Grande Village. Back to the highway. Gotta go take a dip in the hot springs. Get cleaned up. Oh, let's see how smooth this is gonna be. Oh man. Oh, got one last shot at us. It's so heavenly. This is a cool drive coming in. I'm gonna hang out in the back of this truck, dry off a little bit. I'm gonna try to capture some good shots of this drive in. The 
So the good news is my truck's still here. I left it opened up, so it'd be obvious I wouldn't carry any tools with me. That's good news. We are about to wrap things up here in Big Ben. We're gonna transfer all of our junk, try to clean out his truck. His truck's pretty trashed out because we've been in it for a couple days, but that was an awesome trip. Hope you enjoyed it.